Hello everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Xpree. We are going to be going back into my lovely wife and today, today we are continuing the story after trying to resurrect our wife twice and uh, failing completely. And also, I am able to seamlessly move my camera around the screen. So that is going to be a lot easier on me as well as just being able to do stuff. So um, yeah, I'm gonna, it's going to be taking me some use to. I could also mess with the sound right away too. So I could bring the sound all the way down and bring it back all the way up. Of course, I have to look down to see it, but that is totally fine. Um, but yeah, I have a nice little Steam Deck, a free one. Um, but you know, at least it's something, so it can definitely help me out here. Uh, but we, as you can see, we need about 4,000 more um, Carnal Essence, so we're going to go ahead and get that. Uh, but we're also going to see... Is there anyone that we can talk to? Uh, Corral, probably not. Yep, not affectionate enough. Uh, Molly. Passing all classes with flying colors, huh? <laughs> You're doing well at charm yeah. school glad to hear that however do you have any difficulties at noir academy why do you ask there are some notes from mistress x saying you have a hard time keeping up well i can't say that she's wrong maybe you can assign me there today let me talk with mistress x myself oh god <laughs> wait a minute what do you mean what do you want to talk about i only want to know what i need to improve no need to look so worried i'm not going to do anything dangerous i don't know <laughs> she read my mind Okay, so Molly wants to go to Flare School, but she's very maxed out on everything. Uh, Clara is our other person that we can try uh, resing our wife with. That would be our last option because Jake has all the skills. He's maxed out. But uh, I don't know. How are you feeling today? Zzz, hello. Um, are you asleep? Mm, who are you? Oh, sorry to interrupt your sleep. It was a good sleep and you ruined it. Um, I wish I knew what I said beforehand. Do you feel comfortable? <laughs> Did you fall asleep the instant you came here? I just like to sleep, that's all. Do you find it comfortable here? Quieter here. I see. Oh, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Jake. Hi. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Good night. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> oh, well then. <laughs> that was the simplest introduction I've ever had. <laughs> Excuse me, Clara. Oh, she's still sleeping. She has a lot of work today. I shouldn't bother her. Mm, what is it, Jake? Nothing. You can go back to sleep if you're tired. We still have time to go before we go to town. I feel okay to talk. Um, Let's ask about the demon realm. If I may ask, what happened in the demon realm? You seem to be happier here. The ascension, ascension of the new master. Some disagree with it, so they are fighting over it. They? The succubi. Hmm. So not all of you are on good terms with each other. I'm quite chill. The ascension doesn't concern me at all. What does concern me is that they are fighting too much and it's disturbing my sleep. <laughs> she just wants to sleep. Is that so? <laughs> Talking about naps makes me want to take one. Night. Oh, okay. She can practically sleep on command. That'd be a lovely thing to have. Anything else? Mm, you're awake. That's rare. What do you want? Be quick. I'm not in a good mood. Oh my goodness. What happened? Can't sleep well? Yeah. Well, I did just keep talking to you, so. Um, is the room not comfortable? Well, I only need one good night's sleep. Do you know uh, any good place for that? That would be at the hotel, I think. Perfect. Assign me to the hotel then. I can finish my work quickly, then hit the bed. Who's gonna pay for the room? You. <laughs> well, alrighty then. Um,. Maybe Lord Willard can give us a free room. Okay, Clara wants to go to the room. Okay, what about Rebecca? She has an infection enough with me. Uh, I have gifts. How much does... How much does chocolate? Uh -huh. This is fine, but I know you can do better. Oh, she takes off her mask. Look at her. She's a li small, innocent little girl with blue eyes. Okay. Um, <laughs> that only gave six. What the heck? I guess that's really for, like, if you... Want to get them a little higher. Oh, wait. Did that put her closer? Nope. Okay. All right. And... Oh, this is the new girl that we summoned, but we didn't even get to really talk to her. Lola. Lula? Lula. I can smell the presence of Sucker by here. Smell? I can smell the present. Ah. The sweet smell of their carnal essence. It lingers. <gasps> she can smell carnal essence. Well, she is floating around with it, so... Um, they are here, aren't they? Let me meet them. Mm, we'll ask about the smell. 
Does it? Carnal essence leave a scent? I didn't know that. When you work with it your whole life, you learn its scent. You mean when you absorb it from human men? Nah, that's basic. What I do is experiment with it. Oh, okay, so we got smart girl. Experiment? Yes. In fact, since you seem used to summoning Succubi, can I borrow them sometime? <gasps> borrow? What do you want to do with them? Don't you worry, I'm an expert. Alrighty then. I think I'll have to pass on that. Plain. Gained less flair. Alright. And not affection enough. Okay. So we are going to go ahead and put in our, our things over there and we're just going to start going. Okay. I, I think I was like, who? Someone has some stuff. Mm, we're going to be maxed out very soon. So that could be good for us. Maybe. 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 I don't know. Well, we'll see. I don't know. Because it, it definitely doesn't look like that we can advance the story on our own means. The like Sakabai is annoyed that someone keeps following her around. We're gonna chase him away because that's what she would like. I, I know. I know. I know. Trust me. I know. I wouldn't like it either. Um. Okay. We're almost, we're almost there. It's like right there. This is troublesome. Okay. Um, put you in here and you said you want to go to the hotel. So we're going to go ahead and let you go to the hotel. And then Molly wants to go to Mistress X. Oh, she's finishing up there. Okay. We're at 3000. So that should be pretty good. Pretty good. We story's done. We win. Everything's great. Uh, your succubus wants Mrs. X to give her a better instructor. I, th I think you would want a better one. You you do. I would do the same if I were you. I, that was correct. Correct a mundo. I don't don't know no. <laughs> um, I don't know. Okay, so we want Clara for sure. Everyone else we can sort of sacrifice, right? And now communicate love with the correct vessel. With the correct vessel. So it has it has to be it has to be her. What if I would have just done that in the first place? What the heck? Okay. Okay, so if that is the case, um, huh. Okay. We're gonna do that. Um, you need to get some more essence. And you can work. And you can also work. And, okay. I, I, I think we're gonna. We're going to find out what the heck happened because one, we, we've gotten everything. Uh, you found gold on the bench and want to take it to the lost and found, but your succubus insists you keep it. Okay. <laughs> Good. It, it, it's like you can read my mind. Well, I, I didn't know that you'd like to do that, but I guess right. So, hey, okay. She's almost maxed out. We're just going to take her out on another date. So that way one, we can just be maxed already. Okay. Go again. Um, I think we already put you in there, so we're gonna swap. You go here. You go there. And Molly, you are maxed a mundo. Can I do two dates at once? I should only bring one. <laughs> well, well, I I tried. I really tried. <laughs> okay. Um. That's the case. Uh, you tell your succubus about your bird hunting skills and she feels challenged. She uses her demonic power to compete with you and now the place is on fire. <laughs> Run away with your succubus and notify... Um... Uh, she probably wants to run away, but... Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm gladly follow that. Yeah, she's like, ah, no, we're getting out of here. <laughs> Wasn't our problem, even though we caused the fire. Not our problem. But all right, let's see. I think we're we're a hundred percent, hundred percent good. Oh, wait, oh, you better be a hundred percent. If that didn't look like it reached a hundred percent, you became ninety nine. All right, there. Take your chocolate. I didn't know that human food could be interesting. All right, let's learn about her a bit more before this transpires. 
This is rare, you're already awake. I had a feeling you would come around this time. You were expecting me? Don't take this the wrong way. I just hate having my sleep interrupted. So uh, I took premeditative action. Oh yeah, you did say that it was noisy in your room. The rebellion is responsible for that. The rebellion? Those who oppose the new master as Asmodis. We, we used to have a queen as our ruler. However, she suddenly disappeared and Lord Asmodis took the throne. Well, if a stranger suddenly did that, he claimed to be the queen's son. Oh, so he's actually had the right. Um, Let's ask about the ruler, because I'm sort of interested in the demon realm there. How do you feel about the new ruler, though? To be honest, I don't really like him. However, the rebellion was a pain. So you prefer to escape that chaos? No, I prefer to sleep. Of course. That's just uh, escaping reality. I'm more inclined to call it preserving my energy. I haven't been- Oh, okay, and she's asleep. You, you do you. No, Nocti is so annoying. Good thing there aren't any Nocti here, huh? I don't want to get bothered by any drunkards. Oh, Nancy. Our lovely Nancy that was here. Now let me go back to sleep. She's asleep again. Should I summon uh, Nocti's discover so that she won't sleep as much? I mean, we're not going to do that. Kind of rude. Um, not affectionate enough with me. She she's about the rebellion. Not affectionate enough, enough with me. Molly, Jake, I don't I don't think what you did was necessary. Why? The customer was rude to you. Naturally, I had to step in to resolve the matter. I understand that, but I can handle such things myself. Very prideful. Uh, you don't have to get involved. Why do you refuse? Why did you refuse my offer to help? I should be protecting you. It was a minor dispute. Or did you doubt that I could handle it peacefully? No, no, that's not what I... Then why the assumption? I don't think you can solve things by being hot-headed. I'm sorry, Isk. <laughs> I don't think I could, uh, I could get upset so easily. Yeah. I appreciate the thought, though. It means that you really do take good care of your succubi. See anything else? Nope. And Corella is infected enough with me. So, we are now going to assume that I have the right vessel. Please. We don't even get that much, but... Okay. This has to be the right one. We have the skills. I mean, it could be... It could be the Kels, because I didn't have the correct skills at the time. Um, maybe I could make another decision if I spoke to her a bit more. You have to be. Oh, it's the achievement. Asmod Overflowing with carnal essence, a diabolical, never-before-seen creature ra raises above Abrith. Oh, God. Dark cloud shroud the hill where he had kept himself hidden. His silk glistening white scales shine brightly under the light of the moon. An eerily hollow erupts from inside the room. The world shakes in presence of one so mighty seeking out his prey. Oh, nuts. The demon knows exactly where he is heading. With the traitors finally revealing themselves, he can crush them with his own hands. All who oppose me will fall before my might, he declares, from now until the end of my time. Oh god. Asmodeus, the demon of lust, the son of Agrith, all Sakabai know him as their ruler. So he was the ruler. Oh, with authority and power bestowed upon him by the demon queen, all Sakabai are bent to his will. That is every. At least that is. That was what he believed. One Sakabai, along with her so-called army, foolishly attempted to seize the throne. These are all the, the girls that we summoned. Well, most of them anyways. I don't think we summoned that girl in the middle, though. The crushed rebellion fled to the human realm. The stench of their betrayal lingering in Asmodeus' nose. Now Asmodeus knows where the traitors are and what they are plotting with Jake. Oh my. However, with Jake playing into his hands, there's no way to stop the demon king. As sly as ever, he moves towards Jake's location after dealing with the traitors in holy robes. Jake's house is torn apart as three words are spoken. It is time. There, Asmodeus finds the rebellion, uh, rebellion's leader and the soul of the one who dared to raise his hand in defiance of his rule. Oh no! Asmodeus stands before Jake as a thin fl flamed lantern in his grasp. The, or the orb inside glows dim, floating helplessly. Long claws step into the glass, cracks creeping along the surface as the demon's grip strengthens. Jake pleads for Asmodeus to stop. His desperate cries come to nothing, his words un 
cheated by the demon. I have just failed. What lies before Jake's eyes now are just fragments of his wife's soul dissipating into the air. A repeat of that tragic day, a cruel playback once more, and Jake sees the love of his life taken from him. Is this the price that I pay for trusting a demon? He trusted Adonis. Or at least he wanted to trust the Philip he saw in Adonis. But the cunning researcher was just a facade. He should have abandoned his belief in Philip when the demon showed him his true form. I thought... Ah, the demon king bends over Jake's crumpled form and whispers into his ear. I told you, Jake. I won't abandon your wish. I'll reunite you with your wife. In another life. Oh! As when his hand turns crimson, coated with Jake's blood, sadistic claws rummage through the man's chest as if looking for something. Making a pact with the succubus. How pitiful. Those are the last words that Jake hears before Asmodeus crushes his barely beating heart. He then extracts Luna's carnal essence that had been inside him all this time. Oh! Game over! Oh! No! <laughs> well, that's just the... That is the bad ending. That is the bad ending. What What happens if... What happened? Hold on. Hold on. We're still on day 58. So what happens? Can I not... Can I not... I can't even do anything. Oh, she... <laughs> she's just gone. Um... She's just gone. That's what happens. That's what happens. That is actually quite sad news. I can't even go back. I can't even go back to see. Actually, I probably could if I go into the files. Um, but I think that's where we're going to leave it off. I'm going to attempt to get our files back and go back one and see if we can side with the hollowed and see the good ending. But, um, yeah thank you if you made it all the way through this has been a lot of fun i've been having fun with this little steam deck moving around like we we <laughs> um but yeah thank you thank you if, if you watch all the way through this has been a fun little series i know it's not something that's quite enjoyable but if you enjoy seeing it then i'm glad you liked it we'll be trying to find another game to play uh i will be doing minecraft as, as much as i can that has been a lot of fun and as well i've been playing with the other creators tons of fun um so yeah i can't wait to see what else is in store for what we're gonna be doing um i'm gonna be getting an upgraded camera soon so that's gonna be fun and then yeah my birthday is mm, next week no 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 two weeks two weeks but yeah thank you for watching if you enjoy this please consider liking subscribing commenting all those great things and i'll make sure to catch you in the next one goodbye do you find it comfortable here? Quieter here. I see. Oh, I haven't introduced myself. I'm Jake. Hi. <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Good night. <laughs>